Hey guys, this is John from Walton's and this is how to make jambalaya broth. Of all the sausage seasonings that Walton sells, jambalaya may very well be the most complex to make. And this makes sense because the dish we're trying to mimic is a mishmash of French, Spanish, and African cuisine. So as you can see, this is a very complex sausage to make, but it is 100% worth it. We just made some recently and I'm falling right back in love with this. I'd forgotten how tasty it is. It's really complex, robust, has a great flavor, and works just as well by itself as it does in any other dish. So how do we make it? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our rice going because we want this to cool down before we mix it in with the meat. So we're gonna put one pound of long grain rice in with two pounds of chicken stock, bring that to a boil and then take it off heat and just let that rice absorb all of that chicken stock. We want it fully into the rice. We don't want any loose chicken stock in the bottom. Then we did ours with 6.25% of fully cooked ham you can use chunk ham, you can use already pre-sliced ham you buy at the store, however you wanna do it. Then we split the rest up into about 60% of pork butts. We wanted that level of fat and we just really like pork butts when we're adding any pork. We then used about 25% of chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are better than chicken breast for this because the chicken thigh is a much fattier content. And then we used the last 15% of that as seafood, specifically frozen deveined shrimp. Makes it really easy to do. Now, we made a large batch of this, so we ground all of those ingredients separately so that we could make sure each batch had the correct proportions. So we ground all of our ham right away through a 1 8 plate. That's already been processed. You don't need to chunk it up into something smaller. Just put it right through a 1 8 plate. Then for the chicken thighs, we went through a 3 8 plate first and then through a 3 16 plate. We want some chunkiness to this, but with the chicken, we really don't want to see it too much in the sausage. We just want to taste it in there. With the pork, we did something we don't normally do. We went three eighths twice. So instead of switching out to a 3 16 plate for that second grind, we just put it right back through that 3 16 again, and that's because we want it really nice and chunky. For the shrimp, we went three eighths one time, just a single pass through it. At the very end, we grabbed some of the shrimp and put it back through the grinder. This way, we made sure that everything got pushed through at least once. If you don't do that, you run a really good risk of having some chunks of shrimp there at the very end, and that's not what we're looking for in this sausage. We wanna see little portions of seafood, but we don't wanna see little chunks of shrimp. Now, we want this to be a chunkier, loose sausage, so we don't want any protein extraction. We're gonna mix all of our ingredients together, including the water. There's no really other additives we wanna use here. And then we're gonna mix it quickly and we're gonna try and be gentle with it. With this one, we're not only worried about getting all the seasoning evenly distributed, but we also have to worry about getting all the different ingredients evenly distributed. So we're gonna be very gentle, but very fast with this because we don't wanna achieve that protein extraction. That's the whole reason we ground twice through a 3 8 plate. If we start just mixing and mixing and mixing, we're gonna end up with something that looks more like a snack stick, and that's not the look we're going for here. We're gonna cook this in our smoker, and I'm using 30 millimeter fresh collagen. Now, usually when I'm making something like this, we would not be using a fresh collagen, we'd be using a clear collagen. But because I'm gonna lay this out instead of hanging it in a smoker, I can use the fresh collagen. I can also stuff them way more fully than I normally would. That's because when we don't stuff them fully, we're usually doing that so that it has some give to it when we twist link it. We're not linking this, we're just laying them straight down so I wanted them to be fully stuffed. Now our cooking schedule for this is basically like doing any bratwurst in a smoker. Because we didn't add any cure to it, we can't just have it in there at whatever temperature we want for whatever period of time we want. We need to get it through all these stages pretty quickly. But we still do want to add some smoke flavor. So here's the schedule that we used. We're going to do 10 minutes at 120 degrees, and that's a drying conditioning phase. Then we did 25 minutes at 140 degrees and we are blasting as much smoke on this as possible. We then finished it up with another 15 minute secondary drying phase at 150 degrees. And then we finished it at 180 until the internal temperature was 165. Can't end it at 160 with how we did it because we've got poultry and seafood in there. So we made sure that we cooked it up to 165. 
Now, if you wanna mess around with Appendix A for chicken, you have to factor in how much fat content was in there, but you can still use Appendix A for this sausage if you want. These do not require any type of ice bath or shower cycle. You eat them right out of the smoker, right off the grill. If you wanna cook them in a pan, in your oven, just on your regular grill, just make sure you cook them to 165 degrees over 325 degrees, something like that, and eat them hot. They're absolutely delicious. Like I said earlier, it's got a really complex flavor. We have a lot going on here. It's robust, it is absolutely delicious. It stands up to being added to any dish or you can just eat it yourself. Almost everyone is gonna love these. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltons.com and meatjustics.com to find everything about the meat. Thanks for watching, I'm John with Waltons and we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to check out more meat processing videos. Shop waltons.com to find everything but the meat or check out more handpicked videos by clicking here or clicking here.